Is this place also affected by the Order? No, I'm just here to... bid farewell. I changed my mind along the way. This journey has too many variables. So it shouldn't matter if we add another. How did you know she would be here? I didn't. I had a hunch and decided to try my luck. It seems I can be lucky sometimes. It's not like you to leave things to luck. I'm trying to change too. I don't think you need a bystander in this scenario. Go on ahead. You're not worried I'll take the opportunity to escape? I believe you're the kind of person that has the ability and desire to use everything to your advantage. But that everything does not include Miss Robin. Thank you. Now then, Mr. One Week. I'm not leaving. No way. Let him stay. He won't be in the way. I actually need One Week to be there. She shouldn't be seen talking to a fugitive, no matter the circumstances. You don't intend to reveal your true identity to her? Both parties don't have to be aware that this is a farewell. I shouldn't put her at risk for my selfishness. As you wish. Shall we go then? Let's go. Our journey can't begin if I can't take this first step. I didn't expect to see you here, Miss Robin. Be very busy. What brings you here to Dream's Edge? Well, perhaps the dreamscape is not so different from reality. When we look up into the night sky, the stars aren't really there. The glimmering lights we see are merely the images of stars from long ago. So, have we ever truly seen a real sky full of stars? No, no. Today is my rest day. There's going to be a show later, so I came early to find a good seat. It's somewhere farther away. They say it's a farewell performance. The kind that's better to listen to from afar than watch it performed live. Miss Robin, may I stay here with you to gaze at the stars before the show begins? stars are unfamiliar to me. I don't recognize any of them, and it makes me feel 
uneasy. Perhaps it's both. The Stellaron disaster may not have had any real consequences, but many guests still chose to check out. Now the hotel feels quieter than before. It makes me wonder what Panacone's future will be like. I just hope it will not negatively affect you, Miss Robin. Did the person you wanted to say them to leave? Sometimes, what's in your heart doesn't need to be dressed up in words. Maybe he already knows what you wanted to say. If you don't mind me asking, who is it that you wish to encourage? There are many such people on Panacone. Failure is like the setting sun to a dream chaser. It's something that happens every day. I believe they all have the willpower to start anew. Especially after receiving a smile from you, Miss Robin. Are you saying that's not true? Failure may be a good thing for someone like that. Being able to reflect on one's actions is a valuable quality to have. Why is that? I hope so. The Dream Jigsaw. I see. I'll do my best. I'm still inexperienced, so let's just hope we get lucky. Seems we've been blessed with good fortune today. Another Dreamweaver probably left this behind. It's a habit for this profession. They hope to use these blessings as a foundation for the dreamscape. second jigsaw piece. Is this a pair of wings or a decoration made of feathers? We should keep looking.
it's done. Have a look. Soon, I shall travel to those unfamiliar stars, none of which I recognize. But as long as you continue to gaze upon them from here, then those unfamiliar stars will one day be the place of our reunion. That didn't seem like a perfect goodbye. It's enough. I only meant to stay quietly by her side for a bit. Why did you do those unnecessary things? What things? Those two notes. If someone finds them, they can be used as evidence against her. So you can do whatever you want as many times as you want, but I can't. I don't want to live with regret for the rest of my life either. Live with regret? We're almost done saying our goodbyes, right? Yes, we only have one last stop. But, before we leave, I have a question I'd like to ask you, Mr. Yang. I'm curious. Why did you become a Nameless? Why the sudden interest? I always had a feeling that you would never give up on someone who needed help. After spending time with you, I'm even more convinced of this assessment. At this very moment, there are countless worlds above the sky, still waiting for the arrival of the Astral Express. Yet you and your companions have chosen to stay here. All for an old friend you never knew, and a notorious fugitive. To trailblaze means to forge ahead. Yet, you stop and spend precious time on people just... passing by. All the while you believe this is... The natural course of action? That's not what I think at all. Besides, the Watchmaker also made a similar choice. And because of that, he bid farewell to the Express and never walked among the stars again in his lifetime. Not all journeys lead to the stars. Even if we leave the Express, some trailblazing paths will still continue. You can think of it this way. The title of Nameless doesn't belong to any one person. Each individual will have their own view of what it means to walk this path and will always try their best, no matter the situation. The goal of my trailblazing is not the unknown world, but every living being who exists under the stars. In my homeland, the name Welt means world. It suggests that each person is a world unto themselves, and that we harbor as many possibilities as the distant stars. The connections I gain on my journey are what is most precious to me. This is my way of the trailblaze and the reason why I decided to stay here. Why me? Like I said before, I left my home in a hurry too. I know how you feel right now. 
I also know that a person will only be able to truly face themselves once they've decided to say goodbye to their past, the same way you're doing right here, right now. There was never a third person with us, was there? I told you he'd find out. <laughs> I should have known nothing could escape your keen eyes. Since you already know one week's secret, there's no need for me to build up suspense. Let's go. We'll head straight for the finale and take our final bow in this farewell performance. I know you can hide your appearance, but trespassing on restricted family grounds is still a bold move. Don't worry, I won't take too much time. I was a child when I first visited the Grand Theater. I remember seeing the light behind the curtains from here, and believing it to be the morning star guiding me toward the land of the dreams. When I returned here many years later as the head of the Oak family, I finally learned that the light was actually a Stellaron. Now that you've returned to the stage, what are you planning to do? Prepare for my departure. I've always believed that a person's starting point should also be his last stop. Have you ever seen the elderly at the end of their lives? As they welcome their final moments, they invariably raise their hands, stretching their arms into the emptiness. Much like how babies also stretch their arms into the air when they are first born. Humanity flaps their wings twice as they complete their journey. Once when they are born, and once when they die. In order to flap my own wings and soar again. I will say goodbye. Here. To the me of yesterday. Ugh, I really hate this face. My expressions feel so dull and lifeless. I see. That explains why something always felt off about your appearance. The halo above your head that symbolizes the harmony, it's been missing since the moment we reunited. It's true that this ring was bestowed upon our people by the heavens. But that doesn't mean it can't be thrown away. While I was in the gallery of thoughts, at the entrance of the dream, I chose to completely sever the halo from myself. Why? I am a fugitive, after all. I must remove any chance of being detected by the family. <sighs> Another reason is... to feel pain. A pain like falling from the sky with broken wings. That can keep me awake. This is how I can cast aside all the blessings of the harmony and the order and... For the first time in my life, enter the sweet dream as an ordinary person. Is that also how Mr. One Week came into this world? <laughs> no. You wouldn't believe the real story even if he told you. He was born from an accident, one that you're actually quite familiar with. It was that try not to laugh challenge. Quite embarrassing, to be honest. I was roaming around as an ordinary person when I unfortunately fell into that Pepeshi's trap. The prank that fragmented Miss Ting Yoon also divided my fragile self into two. Are you saying that he's a part of you? That's quite surprising given that you two look nothing alike. You could say he's another possibility of me. I, too, was once a child, with aspirations buried deep within. Over time, those childhood voices grew increasingly faint. Maybe, if I had made a small change in my childhood, I would have turned out to be exactly like him. 
What a pity. Failing to become a better version of yourself. So, my final farewell will be like that of Miss Ting Yun. I will perform a tuning on myself, and return to my complete form. And this also means that one week will vanish for good. That's why I said this was the last stop. Is there a possibility that you will be the one who disappears? No. This is a foregone conclusion. But who's to say there won't be any changes? Maybe deep down. I'm also anticipating this possibility. Regardless of the outcome, you will have a witness. I'll be waiting for you in the audience. Much appreciated. Now, shall we begin? Anticipating this possibility... You've really changed. In the past, you wouldn't have tolerated any noise at all. I'm about to embark on an unknown journey, where it will be impossible to maintain my orderly life. I will have to navigate unexpected surprises, much like today. You're not ready at all, are you? I feel unsettled, maybe even scared. Ever since I left Penacony, I could no longer control everything. Don't flatter yourself. You can't control anything. But isn't that how it is for most people? My fear of the unknown may be a weakness, but your presence has shown me that surprises aren't always bad. Meeting you has been a great help to me, and I'm glad to have discovered this side of myself. I also feel grateful for the opportunity to tell you this in person. I truly dislike you. What? Are you sure you didn't mean the opposite? I must admit, many of your qualities strike a chord with me. There are times when I want to joke around, freely express my thoughts, or openly share my dislike of a person. Or my fondness. I want to tell her that I love all her songs. Then go for it, Sonny. You always talk about locking the bird in the cage, but you're the one who's trapped. Look at yourself. Besides discipline and hesitation, there's nothing else in your life. If you continue living like a slab of marble, you'll break into pieces when you fall. <sighs> but I won't become like you. I simply can't. I dislike people who are frivolous. It makes me uncomfortable to even emulate them. If I fail, I will still uphold my principles, such as decorum and stateliness. As for the harmony, my stance remains the same. Whether it's you or the paths, if what I once doubted, or even opposed, becomes the force I must rely on in the future, then this time, my true heart will guide the tuning. I'll leave it to you. What is this? Leaving your fate entirely up to a coin flip? This isn't like you at all. Did you lose your mind after being run over by the Express? Or were you possessed by that IPC gambler? Failure is always the best teacher. To save more lives, you must first understand what they live for and what they die for. The best way to achieve this is through personal experience. You see? I'm already starting to make changes. Whether it's us merging or one of us disappearing, I'll leave the tuning to fate and see if I can embrace all that I detest. Only then will I truly be able to walk among the living in their world. But 
What if you can't do it? Well, that's out of my hands. It will just prove that I'm still the same person. The person who always disappoints his sister. Falling is just another name for flying. That's why I rejoice at my broken wings. Step into the mortal world to see how it truly is. And with my last breath, I'll join the weak in reaching my hands toward the sky. On the planet of festivities, whatever identities I once had, they no longer matter. It's not the gods who answer us, but ourselves from the future. I don't have much to say, but as it's time to part ways, here's one last piece of advice. When telling jokes, be sincere. Don't sweat the details, and above all, don't explain them every time. Uh, never mind. Maybe it's better for you not to joke at all. No objections from me. <sighs> this is so annoying. How did I become so dull? <laughs> well, despite everything, try not to be too hard on yourself. There will always be people who are sad. Planet of festivities, land of the dreams, I say goodbye to my home. Should one desire to leave the stage for good, one must first step back onto the stage. Disorderly noise! Perhaps 
Sixtus's humanity never conceals its desire to control the heavens, and I'm no exception. And myself. Well, how should I address you now? Mr. Sunday or Mr. One Week? Whichever you prefer. He's probably mocking me from inside right now. Thank you for accompanying me through all this, Mr. Yang. This farewell journey has come to an end. What are your plans after leaving Penacone? At this point, there's no need to hide things from you. 
I believe there's more to the incident involving the Stellaron on Panacone. Are you suggesting that the Dream Master wasn't the one controlling the Stellaron? Don't worry. The Oak family was indeed behind seizing the Stellaron, and resurrecting the Fallen Eon during the Charmony Festival. And you've already defeated them. But... Mr. Gopherwood once told me that all the Order's efforts were aimed at avoiding the same mistakes that the Harmony made. My guess is that the family from the Montour system must be involved. Unfortunately, too much time has passed to verify that. Panacone is just a small territory, and even the family heads with their authority cannot enter the sacred site of the Harmony and inquire about the true will of the Great One. In the worst case scenario, if Shipei turned a blind eye, how could the strong defending the weak hold up? Mr. Yang, I just want to tell you this. The Harmony has more than one side. They can be the most steadfast ally of the Astral Express, or the most fearsome enemy. Well, thank you for being honest with me. The efforts of the crew on Panacone were driven by the same concern. After all this, the Harmony and the Preservation will keep the situation on the planet of festivities in balance. With the momentum from the Trailblaze, more forces will arrive and Panacone will become a public space in the cosmos. Freedom is the only answer the Nameless can offer. I'm glad that Panacone needs it. You and I both strive for a peaceful society, even if our reasons are different. And you've gone even further than I have. If not for our paths, perhaps you and I wouldn't be in opposition. Don't sell yourself short. We're not fundamentally opposed. Otherwise, you wouldn't have shown me mercy in front of the Dream Master. This shared journey is my way of repaying you. After all, you are one of my trailblazing goals. <laughs> About that, you've given me many insights as well. Humans are the measure of everything, and no one is the sole savior. Creating a paradise remains one of my lifelong ambitions. As I move forward, I realize I must build it brick by brick. Therefore, I have a request that I hope you'll consider. While I lack the will to trailblaze, nor can I become a true nameless. I admire your convictions. Perhaps what I need more than asceticism is knowledge. Therefore, after leaving Panacone, would you consider letting me come aboard the Astral Express and travel with you for now? So this is why I brought him here. Mr. Sunday wants to join us on the Express. Of course, uh, I can't make that decision alone. valuable lessons from my past opponents. Please, say whatever's on your mind.
Well, well, you did get nerfed after turning into a good guy. So I guess I'm okay too. Thank you all for your forgiveness. Perhaps I'll find the answer I'm looking for on this journey. And when that day comes, it'll be farewell. Until then, I will do my best to fulfill my duty as a passenger. Now that our business on Panaconia is settled, it's about time we get back on track and prepare for our next warp jump. Only a minor ripple that no one will ever notice. So, you must also understand, for a genius, the importance of asking questions outweighs the importance of the answer. So-called magic has its own set of principles. There are no mysteries in this universe that cannot be solved. So, seeing presence. I ask you this. What is divinity? 